Hey everyone, this is my easy tapping method. The impact butterfly impact wrench is from Harbor Freight. It has a forward and reverse just by touching either side. It has a tap holder, an iron tap holder that I got from useenco.com for $20. And then I have just a regular iron tap that I bought from Ace Hardware. Uh, it's a cheapo one, about $4 or something like that. Nothing big. First thing we're going to be tapping is 1018 steel, quarter inch. The recommended size for this tap is uh, .2770, the drill hole, which is a J bit. I don't have a J bit around, so I used a 1764 bit, which is a .2656. So it's slightly undersized for the recommendation. We're also going to be drilling three holes into 8020, which is a 6061 aluminum. The recommended size for the tap and bit is an F bit, which is a .2570. Uh, I measured out the 8020 to be sure, and it's at a .2550 for the hole sizes. Uh, I have a feeling my air compressor is going to go off, so it might get a little bit loud, guys. So if after we start tapping, you might want to turn down the volume a little bit if you get annoyed with the noise, and it probably won't shut off until after we're done. I'm also going to chuck this up and then I'll reorganize it so you guys can see it in the vise. But uh, here we go. All I use for tapping is uh, just a little WD-40 in the spray can. This gets a little bit stickier, so it takes a little bit longer, but you guys get the point. 